Actually, last time I saw Late, he was a pit player. Oh, yeah, you're right about that, actually. Now he's uh, opting to pick the... Uh... Oh, he no. traded in two all right swords for one really good sword. However, Kraftis, that, that, I feel like Spin Dash actually received a little bit of a buff. Because the fact that it hits in multiple succession rather than just knocking you up. Like, look at how much damage that does. That's ridiculous. Damage, yes, but he can be punished during every portion. Oh, my it's God. It's really dangerous, man. Kraftis going in. This dude's, this dude's in it. The thing is, uh, I want to see. We've seen, you know, this matchup in, in the past with like players like Mr. E and, and Six WX, and how the, the the Lucina has to really, really space every aerial correctly and, and make sure she catches. Uh, so, uh, when Sonic tries to catch the landing on Lucina, they got to make sure to space it just out of range so they don't get hit. There we go. That's what I'm trying to see. Mixing up how he approaches. Kraftis is going to have to change up the pace of what he's doing often. And the fact that Honing Attack allows you to stall in the air for so long now lets him change on the fly what he's wanting to approach with. Yeah. Wow, great so, counter. Yeah, Sonic still has the same problem since Brawl, since Smash 4. He can't go. That was so nice by Lee, just it, tripping him yeah. up. You if there's that? one player that's... that uses that noggin really appropriately, it's definitely Kool-Aid. He's known as a very cerebral player, and what I mean by that is that he's very methodical with all of his options, and then sometimes he's just, he, he's just literally just a nut. Sometimes. This man tried to edge guard me with, with Shield Breaker in teams today, with Lucina, off stage. That's your fault. It didn't hit me? <laughs> Should've. Ooh, that was an F smash and a half right there. Yeah, there you go. You got two more wishes. Wow, and going Kraftis deep. is not getting any momentum. It's all lost, man. That's good, though. I feel like as a player, Kraftis thrives off of momentum, especially since he's a very hyper-aggressive player. With, with Kool-Aid staying on him at all times and just snuffing every single approach out and keeping him off stage, he's really utilizing what makes Lucina so good in this game. Definitely stop Sonic in this crowd. What is this? That's what I'm saying, man. This man is, is very liberal with that shield breaker off stage. I mean, hey, if you landed it, I guess it would have been sick. Yeah, it's a, it looks like a really good get off me tool. Dude, he's getting hit by the spring every single time, but he's somehow able to make it back. Dolphin Slash brings him back for free. My man is flying first class with these uppies. Jet Blue, man. <laughs> Jet Blue. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> right now, the only thing blue is Sonic, and Kraft is trying to stay alive with him. Lucina's face is about to be blue in a second. You see all that damage he got off of that spin dodge right there. He's also at the semi. Uh, less percent. That being said, that was excellent tech chase right there by Daijobu oh, no, Lade. No, no. That was a very Daijobu first game for him. Oh. I won. Can we kick him off the mic? I had to do it before anyone else did. Yeah, Daijobu is... Guys, if you want me to say that less, follow me on Twitter. Right? At <laughs> Can we kick him off the mic? <laughs> Yo, where's Flambo? Yeah, actually, can, can we... Flambo! 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 <laughs> <laughs> so what adjustments, you you think, uh, <laughs> what adjustments do you think Kraftis has to get together after this? Um, he got kill. stuffed out quite the a bit. The answer really is kill. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he was able to rack up damage fantastically on kool and he was able to run circles around him. But when it came to actually participating in neutral, he was just eating hits. He wasn't able to maintain any stage control, and this whole lead survived to like 200%. He was chilling. Let's see if FD has anything to say about it. did not know what death was. He really does just fall out of this. Kool-Aid's spacing as well has been excellent. As soon as Kraftis starts using one of those B-button moves, my man sprints to the other side of the stage like Usain Bolt. He's not trying to get caught by that uh, spin dash or homing attack too often. Lucina's recovery, like how deep she can go downward, also helps, because Sonic really can't go that far down unless it's with the down air. And that's, you know, let's see. It's, that's from, that starts from the top. That's true. It ain't wrong. Facts up instead. Okay, nice air dodge past the uh, F smash. Oh! He's still gonna make it back. No, okay, he's I not. Gonna, I, no, I wouldn't be surprised if he did, You're honestly. You're a liar. Kool Aid taking a quick sip of water, real quick. You know, just to get the hydration back up. That's that's a ballsy move doing that in between stocks. I'll do it. Without water. <laughs> up tilt. I'm surprised Kool Aid's doing so well off of, off of these trades. Does, does, uh, does that, like, once he goes airborne, is he just able to trade with that now? Um, yeah, due to the Lucina's hitbox, and Sonic doesn't have a lot of priority anymore. 
When, when, how, for how long is it invincible? I can't imagine it's more than a few frames. I actually don't know. Because I can tell, I know it's invincible on startup. What, Sonic's, um... Yeah, yeah, Spin Dash. No, not anymore. Really? Yeah, it's, it's actually a really big hit to the character, because he can't... It's a lot more of a commitment. Like, every time we see Kraft is moving in, it, like, he's ready for whatever is coming through. Like, he just sort of eats whatever's next. Oh, that must have been a, a misinput right there by Kool-Aid. But I like this that Kool-Aid is standing his ground really, really well. Okay, that wasn't a misinput. My man's actually just nuts. Okay. <laughs> that, how did that back your head? Oh, he's dead. All right, that's from out deep. Stole the jump, took the stock, just like that. Graf is sitting with the lead now. And that spring has so much use, man. It can it help Sonic go up, and it can help Lucina go down. Like, I think what needs to be appreciated right now is that Kreftus is getting so bold with these edge guards. He knows at any point that Link could just swing on him or just Dolphin Slash, get out of the situation, and potentially clip him. But he's still giving his all so deep from the stage. He found a way to not commit to the edge guard, though, and still make it back to the stage safely without getting touched by Link, because those springs have been really helping him out a ton. And he's also been hitting Kool-Aid when Kool-Aid's too far out to really have any counterplay because he's still worrying about getting back to the stage. Okay, missing back throw. Wild wow. for that one, and he's going to pay the price. You got to show him which down there works. It's this one. <laughs> Swing and a hit, man. And, okay, great. Yeah, great job. Good there. job to Kool-Aid reversing the Dolphin Slash and to face back towards the stage. A lot of players t tend to Dolphin Slash outwards. Yeah, and then they do reverse, and then you're dead. I love how he's been stuffing out these startups, too, from Kraft. This Kool-Aid's just staying in his face, and then when Kraft just starts to get his his uh, his side be started up, that's when Kool-Aid tends to backpedal a little bit. Run up Ooh, this is going to be very risky. Okay, excellent job doing it early. That was you're a pure crazy. Recovery, no fear, man. <gasps> All fear. Oh no! One uh, fear. Damn, that was wild. One, one fear on the board. <laughs> what? No fear. Air dodges off stage. One fear. <laughs> damn, I hate when you make a joke and someone explains it. Do I love that? Yeah. I love that meme so much. So into game three on Smashville. <laughs> I love this stage. It reminds me of Smash Four. The good old guy. I, I love say it reminds me of Smashville. <laughs> how many? How much Red Bull are you having today? You're gonna be, you're gonna be dead by the end of this break. Oh please, don't threaten me with a good time. Don't threaten. <laughs> so. Oh my lord. I'm actually curious to see why Lady brought us here for Smashville. I figure he's gonna be able to control the stage well enough with like how much room he's gonna take up, but Kraft just seems like. He's a lot more willing to just get into the space, whether it's on stage or off stage, and just get the damage no matter what. Kraft is definitely just jabbed one of him and dipped. I think my I think my assumption for why he took to the stage is that he wants less space for Kraft to work with to get his setups. Lay doesn't want to have to backdash too much and give up his uh, his stage control, and he's able to keep in in Kraft's face as well without over committing too much. Yeah, but if that was the case, then he just he has less stage to work with. Yeah. So. He just backed ass once, he's already at the ledge. But Kraftis also has less space to work with, which means that Kool-Aid can stay on him at all times and get edge guards like that. That's why I'm assuming. I mean, that's my assumption, at least. It could just be because Kool-Aid likes KK Slider's guitar or something like that. I don't know. No, it's KK Slider. <laughs> Saturday night, my man's stringing out. Maybe he it. Never missed a concert, dude. He never misses. He didn't even call him sick. Dude never takes a sick day. He's got to stick it to the man. That requires you to be very consistent with your agenda. I think he has no jump, but great air dodge to make it back to the stage. And i that's one thing I feel like Kraftis is struggling to, to, to get here. Late is eight. He's giving up the stage control for the edge guard, and when you're at a deficit, it's, it's really hard to do that. Especially against characters like Lucina, who have, who have options like that, where they can they can just pull the trigger really quickly. That's a great stall right there with that side oh, 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 yeah. yeah. My man oh. got shook. Yeah, My man got, got his own head. But he's at 109, 120 now. Now it's with the 12%. I just realized that. What just happened? Did he clash one hitbox to another and uh, then off the end lag of that get the F smash? That was, that was nuts. Just got slapped. Oh my that, god. That, that's not supposed to be in this game. That's uh, definitely the most times I've seen up air connect. Like ever. It might be the, the last time you ever see that. Crap it's so. Bring, you know, bringing this back a tad. 
It's just been a struggle because when coming back, Kool-Aid has just been holding near that ledge very nicely. It's also intuition to just do these hits out of getting hit before a really terrible situation is about to occur. It's, it's really good. His reaction time is actually amazing. Jab, covering it. The spot dog's off. Oh my god. I like the swing, but yeah. it just wasn't spaced right. Swing and a miss. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say that's a free F smasher or some, some attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, that's he could be doing that. All right. We're sitting on game point now for Lady. Crafts got to figure out something different. You can really tell, like, Kool Aid's not freaking out at all when, when Kraftus starts revving up that uh, that spin dash. He's staying very calm. He knows probably how to deal with it. Also, he's able to do cross ups on Sonic. Cross ups on Sonic Shield. Sonic is the one playing defensively in that situation. Sonic's Where's forced you now. He does, he's not nearly as privileged as he once was. Thank God. Kraftus I mean, has what? to work so much harder now just to do basic stuff. Meanwhile, Blade, with a sound sense of neutral, sword in hand, that's a difficult fight ahead of him. I'm also digging the symmetry on this, in the stage band right now. Yeah, that's cute. That looks good. That's like a cute little emoticon. Oh, I love it. Top-notch commentary. <laughs> Oh, no, you got I can't be on my phone, but you two are on your phone. I'm <laughs> definitely not on my phone. They you give, take them, Devin. Get that hand out of here. Snitch. I ain't no snitch. You definitely just snitch. <laughs> Mom. Play <laughs> ammo. So taking it, taking it to Kalos, uh, I definitely agree with this kind of pick. It gives Kraftis more space to work with, as you know, as Sonics like to do. Oh, 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 okay. oh, oh okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> Like you want to see how fast I can dance? Yo, Sonic <laughs> moves very fast. Kraft's going to watch those ankles. You don't say. I wonder what his tag is for. The Pele tag. Is that after the soccer player? Yeah. You want a mountain? The mountain? It's definitely the soccer player. Do I have a sponsor for you? <laughs> <laughs> Why is dancing like so good? We don't have answers. I still seen us so good, man. We don't have answers. Dancing blade. No core assets, and she's still out here moving. That's probably why she's moving so much. You respect those core assets. I'm respecting it, dude. And and Kraft has better start respecting this frame data right now because he's getting pinned at the, the, the edge of the stage every single time. You know what? I'm starting to think he likes it there. <laughs> <laughs> he's a masochist, dude. I love being in the corner. <laughs> he feels safe. It's his comfort zone. <laughs> it's TLC, My Strange Addiction. My name is Kraftus. I've been addicted to being in the corner for 30 years. <laughs> oh, no! You need to hold this man in your dimension. Hold on. Yo, I'm telling you, man. He found a really cheap room there. <laughs> this ain't no New York rooms. I'm found... Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, so this is the 3700 a month. No utilities. No, all utilities. <laughs> one, bed <laughs> one bedroom, one bath. In Brooklyn. <laughs> it's just the same. <laughs> and Elaine playing it very, very calmly now. Like, he's just, he knows that he just, it's its pretty much just light work for him to keep just tacking on the damage, not overextending himself off of stage. And he's at a three stock lead right now. And Sonic has to work pretty yo, hard to yo, take yo, those look stocks. At, look at this lead that Lane is sitting at. All he's got to do is just worry about staying alive. He's, just, he's, he's still, still living. living. He might not be living. Psych, that was the wrong number. He, he's living. And he's not freaking out. Like, he's not doing any... These approaches aren't brazen. They're confident. Oh, my God. Oh Kraft is re really playing with fire right now. Short hop into... Uh, it, it is a struggle to see because a lot of Sonic's great tools, like how he was so hard to catch most of the time and that his, his neutral and punish game didn't take too much commitment, it's 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 something that Kraftus has to learn how to do. With. But he, he's doing a great job. He's making that comeback slowly, and I think he, he's realizing how far he can extend himself on these punishes. Yeah, but he has to take two stocks to win this game. And I don't see that happening, especially with the Sonic nerves that happened in well, Smash Ultimate. Oof. You're about to get a throwback to Smash 4. Kratos is going to spend a lot of time in his shield if he wants to try and bring this back. I feel like he should be just resisting going off stage for now because he's been making this comeback because he has so much stage control. He's giving that up to go off stage, and Lade is making it back, and it gives him the advantage. If I know Lade, though, he's going to think of something nutty to, to end this game off with. But Krab is making this comeback. Oh, my God! That was the best air dodge I've ever seen in my entire life. Lade really did go for the most ignorant option. It we worked we before. We ignorant out here, bro. 
probably. It, I mean, it, it's worked the past five times, so like I can't really say nothing about it. Ooh, he's waiting for it, too. I saw that F-Tilt Prime. Now this is going to be scary, but great get-up option. Crap is showing no fear right now. Yo, he's bringing his back. I might be alive. I like the little stuff. Oh, stuff. my God. That was genius. Crap is now... Now it's like, okay, this might be my last stock of winners. I got I to gotta turn up. Turn Recovering. Up. Oh, all oh, right. Good. Okay, catch me. I'm missing the spring right there. Oh, I knew it! No, I knew it! Him. Never right sleep the on the shield breaker. Never sleep on the shield breaker. I knew that was going to come out at some point. I won. Yeah, you did. You did, Lucina. You, you did win. Good job. I won. Crap just managed so long on that stock and oh. just like that skewered. 3-1. He was making a good well, comeback, a good though. But that's what you get when you establish your lead. That was you a have that a lot of time to play with that. That was a close